Why are you laughing? <laughs> hey, tell the people what happened. Why did you have to go shopping for shoes? Okay, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Feather Sense and Life. So, I will tell you a story about that I lost my shoes after playing a football match, and I was the man of the match that day. So, you were too excited because you were man of the match and you forgot your shoes? <laughs> yes, and then after that day, I didn't, re I didn't realize that I forgot my shoes. I went home. I came back home and then I was taking off my socks out of my shoes. What and shoes? Because you forgot yeah, the so shoes. My soccer, my soccer boots. So you forgot the school shoes and you never forgot the soccer boots. Yes. How is that possible? Because at the the school shoes they were at the at the down uh, it was. So this was the plastic and my shoes were under, under the plastic so I didn't notice when I, I took the, the plastic. Okay, go ahead. And then after that day, I saw that I forgot my shoes at school so I thought that I'll take, I'll find them tomorrow. But I Tomorrow being the next day? Yes, the next day. Mm -hmm. But I didn't find them. Find? Did, but I didn't find them. So I had to go buy my new my new school shoes. So how did you buy your what where did you get the money to buy the new school shoes? The money that I save every day. Mm. So are you going to lose these ones again if you go shopping today? If you go buy the shoes again, are you going to lose these ones again and because you know you have money? No. How are you going to do it this time? I wrote my name in my shoes. You wrote your name on your shoes? Yes. But then how, what difference will that make? How is writing your name in your shoes going to help you? Does it for when people find your shoes, they can read your name and then bring, bring them to you? Okay, alright. So here I am going to be the voiceover artist for today. So basically here we are, brothers is busy looking for the shoes and the first mistake that he did was to actually just hand over the shoe without checking the price. So I had to send him back to go check for the price of the shoe so that he knows that his budget is enough to buy the shoes. So hence he had to go back and check the price of the shoes. And yeah, so as soon as you get back the shoe or the size, you fit in the shoe just to make sure that you don't retain the shoes. So yeah, they were telling him he needs to fit the shoe and also he must make sure that it is a little bit loose so that it can last him because we are called Alumuntu, so yeah, we actually make sure that we buy an, a, a size uh, a size with a little bit of space, you know. So yeah, here we are calculating, checking on our money and the price and putting our savings together so that we are able to buy the shoe. Hectic. If I remember correctly, I think the lady was asking him why is he doing it by himself when his mother is around. So basically he had to also tell the same story to the lady, explaining to why he had to actually buy shoes and with his saving money. So yeah, there he was telling the story that he actually did that. Probably it is the lady who told him that next time, make sure that you write your name on your shoe so that anyone who finds your shoes can bring them back to you. I think that idea he got it from her. So yeah, here we are buying the shoes. The money is coming together and yeah. And so yeah, with the remaining money, we decided why not get a pair of socks because also the socks have got some potato holes. So just like, oh, okay, I'm gonna go buy um socks and also he decided to also buy another piggy savings bank 
because the one that he had previously had to break it so he can't save on that anymore so here we are at diy to get socks and another piggy 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 savings can all bank Is that the cheapest one? My in love. For now, you cool, and it's stop. and so he couldn't get the right pair of sh of socks so he decided he was going to buy the sure. socks outside at the market and yeah we're about to leave diy obviously heading home and basically the market and we're just going to buy is on our way home voiceover artist is me y'all so basically i'm here to re-pierce my ears i did that but previously when i did them they did not heal so i'm here to get that done again and yeah basically that is why i had to feature on this beautiful video but thank you so much for watching bye And yeah, finally we are at the market and we're getting the socks and it is time for us to say goodbye. Thank you so much for like for watching this video. Please make sure that you like the video, share it to your friends, tell them Pila went shopping. Bye, you are loved.